Welcome, friends, to another Arkansas Wild Man Survival. Laundry day in chat. Trying to keep up on laundry. Went to the creek the other day and got some more water. And uh, because of rain is a non existence in the last few days. But uh, I thought uh, I would help keep up on laundry. Because the wife has went to help her sister at her church uh, make pies uh, for fundraisers for, like, you know, when we go to Sight and Sound Theater for Branson, that's where that money comes from. And that's how we get to go as she goes and helps with a fundraiser and making the pies, the fried pies. So uh, she's off doing that today. And, hi, little man. I'm doing laundry. And uh, I got to do dishes. And uh, boy, I missed cooking yesterday, but it's just it's just so dry, just too dry. Hi, <laughs> Pappy. Yeah, you gonna help me wash clothes? Yeah, I love you too. Go chase a bunny. They had old coyote down there under the hill yesterday. Uh, doing its little challenge bark to lure out dogs to try and uh, lure them off and attack them. and uh, I put all the little ones up and the little house dogs and got the old shotgun and me and Pap and Pete went down there and we got close but he wouldn't come out and open where I could shoot him smart coyote but he is talking right back at me But, uh, I've had people call me, well, not call me, message me on Facebook and say they're scared, you know, all these things going on, the wars overseas and, uh, all these natural disasters, which, whether, you know, God, uh, Scripture says that these, these are the birth pains, these things will take place, long written down. They won't know that I think the end was me. And, uh, you know, like I said, whether some of these vents are man-made, natural occurrences, like through cycles, like, you know, there's whole continents that's underwater now because pole shift and things that naturally occur on this earth. And like I said, I've, I've no doubt that there's machines that monkey with the weather. But God controls it all, and He foreseen it all. And uh, He warned us that these things would take place. And no man knows the end. No man knows the day. We know the seasons, the signs of the seasons. No man knows the day nor the air. And uh, that's why I tried to explain to them. I don't know. Nobody did. But uh, Hollywood has them so fooled. You know, uh, let me read you some scripture here. Let me draw off my hands here. And this is my view of it. And uh, if you turn to the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 9.27, it tells us, Just as man is appointed to die once, and after this, face judgment. And 28 says, So also Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many, and he will appear a second time not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. <coughs> you see, there's only two people in the history of the Bible that uh, was man and didn't die. And I believe they're going to be the two witnesses. And that was Enoch. Scripture says Enoch walked with God and was no more. And Elijah. 
chariots of fire come down and picked up Elijah. I believe these two men was translated into the very end times and will be the two witnesses because scripture out there tells you that it's appointed once for man to die and face the judgment. There's no escaping death. People believe uh, they're going to be raptured up. Nothing but their clothes left here on the ground. That goes against scripture. Nor in planes is a making a racket today. Hollywood has it where they're just their clothes is gonna be left, and there's people be flying a plane, and they'll be just be gone. And no, this flesh that will not inherit kingdom of God. No, you will. It will die. There'll be a lot of dead bodies on the ground. There'll be a dead people behind the plane seat because you, this is appointed for man to die once. And where it talks about, and some of us won't sleep, but be changed in the twinkling of an eye in self in First Corinthians. That means you won't be in the ground like the rest of the body won't be sleeping in the ground. Now the spirit goes to God who gave it, but the body returns to the ground, and that's referring that the body won't be buried. And uh, it's just, just crazy the way people's thoughts is. You know, Jesus never taught the rapture. His apostles never taught the rapture. The early church never taught it. That was a doctrine brought up in the 1800s by a man. The word they use is harpozo, harp, uh, harpozo, or har, har, or something like that. That means a catching up, in which the Bible does say there will be a catching up, but I don't believe it will be pre-trib. It'll be when he comes back. We'll meet him in the air, and he's only coming back once. And it won't be as a lamb for the slaughter, but as a roaring lion. So, hope that answers some of your questions. And uh, if you don't believe me, that's fine. Study the word yourself. Be a workman approved and not ashamed. And uh, like I said, everybody makes mistakes in this life. And people sometimes, because uh, we're flesh and blood. And uh, we get swayed one way or swayed another. But study the scripture yourself. And don't depend on me, on some other man. But God, the Holy Spirit, will give you understanding if you ask. Second <coughs> uh, Samuel says, ah, My screen's going to dark. 2 Samuel 14, 14 says, For surely we will die and be like water poured out on the ground, which cannot be re recovered. Yet God does not take away a life, but he devises ways that the vanished one may not be cast out from him. And, uh, you know, Genesis three nineteen told us, By the sweat of your brow you will eat your bread until you return to the ground. Because out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and dust you shall return. And Second Corinthians 5.10 tells us, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that 
Each one may receive his due for the things done in this body, whether good or bad. Hebrews 10, 27, But only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume all adversaries. That's what's going to happen to God's adversary. So that's just my thoughts on all that. and So don't be fooled by Hollywood and, and what some preachers teach you because they're only teaching what somebody else taught them. Pray to God to give you understanding and wisdom. And he'll do it. I, myself, I believe that uh, this country is in for some hard times because all the wickedness and all the people that vote for the wickedness that say they're Christian, that they turn around and vote for abortion, abominations that are to God, which is homosexuality. I mean, we're not like Muslim people. We don't uh, kill you. We just try to warn you. So you don't have to go to the devil's hell. It's not we don't love you. It's just, and we're not judging you. God has already judged it. And he said, hey, you know, look at Sodom and Gomorrah for our example. And uh, I have family that are bisexual. I love them just as I would anybody else. And uh, I don't want to see them go to hell. But all you can do is warn people and tell them the truth. And the rest is up to them. I'm not going to try to change scripture and try to, like a lot of these people do, and, and come up with different Bibles like the Queen Anne, or what is it, yeah, Queen, Queen James Version. <laughs> but as long as America has people I, I was at the reunion the other day, and we need a bunch of Democrats in there. And I thought, oh, my Lord. As long as people support evil, this country ain't going to flourish. And I'm not saying that they ain't some evil Republicans. I figured they was both on Epstein Island, to tell you the truth. But we'll never know. Just like the Roman church, they had these bathhouses where these little boys went in there and serviced the men. And you know what I'm talking about. Same, same bird. All these politicians, movie stars. Due to these poor kids that come up missing and sold into the sex slave. As long as evil like that exists, this country's not going to prosper. I'm sorry. It'll never be great. In fact, it'd be like Rome, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's fixing to burn like Rome. That's just my thoughts that I'm sharing with you today and, and, some, and some of the word. But like I said, you don't have to believe me. Do your own research and don't depend on any man to tell you. But study the scriptures for yourself. I don't know how that boy gets his pants so dirty. Working them cows, I guess. Jeans is the hardest thing in the world to wash with a rub board. That's why I like to wear shorts. <laughs> but uh, study those scriptures yourself. And have I ever been wrong on scripture? Well, of course. There ain't nobody 100% right all the time. We have our own opinions. 
and her own thoughts. But God is never wrong. And the things like the leaders, you know, this election last time might have been stolen. I'm not saying it wouldn't, but God sets up kings, he sets up thrones, he sets up kingdoms, and he takes them down. All this has been written down and planned thousands of years ago, or longer than that. And it's going to fulfill. And there's nothing I, you, Donald Trump, or anybody else can do about it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's. Today's laundry and chat, and I hope you do study the scriptures. And uh, like I said, I've had people message me that was worried, you know. There ain't nothing to worry about, it's to prepare. You got to have oil in your lamp and be ready to go. Because nobody knows the day nor the hour, not even the angels of heaven. Only the Father knows when he's going to say, Son, go get my children. But, uh, put all doctrines aside and pray the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom beyond measure. For he's here to guide you and to comfort you. God bless you, and as always, thanks for watching Arkansas Wild Man Survival. And don't only survive, but thrive. Because what's written in that book's going to happen. It's proven itself time and time again. God is real. And, you know, Scripture comes to me, you know, some people ain't going to get saved until they see these fearful sights. Because Scripture says... Uh, take some out of the fire with fear. Paraphrase. And it's going to take the fear of God before some people change and turn from their wicked ways and seek Him. No amount of preaching, hollering, shouting is going to do it. It's going to take an act of God to do it. And it's coming. Uh, Y'all stay blessed. Stay prepped up and prayed up. God bless you. Thanks for watching.